everyone welcome to stretch it apps youtube channel i'm alicia from stretch it app and today we are going through a 30 minute front splits class all you'll need is a mat or a soft surface to work on as we will be on our knees as well as two blocks if you don't have blocks you could do stacked books make sure they're heavy and they won't slip out from under you or you could also work near your sofa or a sturdy piece of furniture that you could safely place your weight on for some of the lunge work let's get started standing with legs a little wider than hip width apart hands on the hips and start to take hips around in a circle notice that the knees stay bent and as the hips circle forward squeeze your glutes and wrap the stomach in to reinforce the torso so that we feel the stretch in front of the hip and not so much in the low spine let's reverse all the way Good. For three, two, and one. Starting with one leg at a time, bring right knee up and clasp under with both hands and switch. And if you find that the balance feels pretty good, you can pull the knee in tighter to your chest at the same time shifting your weight back as you push your opposite hip forward. If you feel really good, you'll bring the hands under your knee on the shin and pull the thigh in tighter to your chest. And you might want to slow down here as since you are leaning back more, you want to be able to stabilize you the balance so that you can stay on that one leg. And if you fall, you just try again. Take your time. Take a breath. Exhale. All the way. Let's do one more each side. Last one. Good. Stepping side now, and let's start with the right foot forward and the left foot back. Bend both knees equally so you come into two 90 degree angles. With hands on the hips, tuck your hip forward, pull the chin to chest, and push the heel back, reset. Again, bend back knee and drive that thigh forward. Feel a nice tight glute squeeze here and release we have three more two last one hold the tuck drive that thigh forward pull the chin to chest squeeze your butt cheek forward four three two lean forward and step to switch right leg back and now again, wide enough so you can bend both knees and drive the thigh forward, squeeze the right butt cheek now, push heel back to reset. Again, exhale, curl, and reset for three, two, last one, hold it under, we stay. Four, three, two, and release. Let's bring the blocks, or if you need to, you could also work near a chair or something higher. As we will step right foot forward, bend over, bend both knees so that you can come down carefully, and now shift forward and back. As I'm shifting back, I'm rolling on to the heel and lifting the toes. And then on the shift forward, I lift back heel up, forward and back. And if you need something higher, you'll have your weight higher. If you have stools, great. If you need to just stay higher, I would recommend you place your hands on your hips. Keep the hinge back and the spine long. Two. And now hold the toes back. See if it's not just the ball of your foot, but the whole unit. Four, three, two, let's switch sides, left foot forward, right back, and let's start the rocks here. Good. Two, pull the toes up, flex the heel, lift the chest, four, three, two, and down. Coming down so that now we take our 90-90 lunge. Have your blocks nearby if you're using blocks and let's step right foot in front. In the 90-90 lunge, 
back knee is 90 front knee is 90 and much like how we did our tuck and curl standing we'll do it here on a lower position we'll start arms wide push the tailbone back on the exhale sweep the arms forward and tuck again push it back and push it forward three two one more we hold stay in the tuck squeeze your thigh forward pull the belly to spine chin to chest four three two release hands down find your blocks and place them either side of your front foot adjust the distance between your front foot and your back knee so now we can drop the hip a little lower but climb the torso higher all while keeping your front knee behind the toe line carefully shifting back not fully straightening the knee come halfway and drop back into your low lunge the reason why we spend so much time on our hip flexors is that I find especially in front splits that we often prioritize the front leg. And yes, the hamstrings do play a role in successful front splits, but I think the back hip often gets neglected and is underestimated in terms of how much value it can add to deepening your front split in a safe manner so that you don't have to compromise the hamstrings of your front leg and lessen the risk of pulling your hamstrings to avoid that injury. Let's do one more. Drop the hip and hold. Notice that my torso is way up and away from the front thigh. And this is why we have the blocks because when you release your hands off, it bears more weight on the hip and that's where you have to squeeze your legs in toward your midline strong legs to hold you up let's lift left arm overhead take a breath exhale side bend to the right if you're able to you're more than welcome to place your hand down by your right hip let's circle forward halfway back circle back into your side bent if you're using a prop you keep right hand on it and return to your side bend for three breath into circle two one more circle the body forward heel toe your right leg a touch more center and now begin to hinge forward and back by tapping your toes down and lifting them up. This is where your props come in handy because if you find that when shifting back, you're starting to round, it's vital that we keep the spine long and therefore keep the knee bent if that's going to enable us to maintain a neutral spine. I like to think that there's a magnet between my rib cage and thigh and I'm trying to keep this space as close together as possible on the shifts back. Two more. Last one. Pull the toes up and stay. If you're able to, you're more than welcome to drop down lower, but make sure we don't lose the flexion in the ankle. Toes up. Four, three, two. Rebend the front right knee, heel toe it out. Bring the blocks inside if you have them and carefully lower onto your elbows. You can allow your front right thigh to open a bit. And now back left thigh is heavy. Start by squeezing your left butt cheek down and start by bending knee heel to butt and release. Again, squeeze thigh down, heel to butt and release. This is important, we have three more. Notice that my hips don't pike up when my heel comes to butt. You wanna keep your thigh as heavy as possible as you pull your heel in and then release. We have two more. Pull the heel in, squeeze that thigh down, four, three, two, and release. Carefully climb up, bring the legs behind, 
And actually, let's take a butterfly break. I think sometimes nice to do before we head over to side number two in our lunge sequence. With soles of the feet together, knees wide, hands behind, you can place the blocks behind you to better pitch your torso forward over the feet, or you can bring your blocks in front of you. And as I arch and curl here, you can bring the blocks along for the ride. Curl it back and arch it forward. Here we go. Two more. One more. Let's hold it forward. If you need, you can prop the blocks under your forearms. If you're doing this in front of the sofa, you could bring the hands on top of the sofa. However, you can manage your, your furniture props. Definitely whatever helps to, again, lengthen your spine up from your tailbone so we're not collapsing here. Even if you have to sit up higher, think wide chest. Heavy pelvis, anchor it down through the ground while pressing the thighs only as low as you can manage. Four, three, two, and come out. Now we can begin side number two. So let's come up left foot forward now in our 90-90 position. Again, back knees at 90, front knees at 90. Let's tuck the back toes under so we have a little bit of stability here. And we'll start arms wide, tailbone back. As it pushes front, arm sweep. Again. Squeeze that hip forward, squeeze the butt cheek forward. Three. Two. One more, we hold. Chin in, round the back. Keep the torso away from the thigh. Four, three, two, lower down. Adjust the distance between front foot and back knee, and then carefully drop down into your low lunge and back into your stretch again, not fully extending the knee just yet. We have another round coming. So soft knee extension, but as we come up, we lift. Here we go. Breathe in as you low lunge. Exhale as you push back. And all the while, we want to think not just dropping your thigh down. This is an active extension. Squeeze the butt cheek down while widening the chest and then hinge back. Two more. Well, let's do three just in case. because I was yapping on the first side. So we have to make sure we're even. Cool. One more. Let's drop the thigh. <sighs> Reach right arm overhead, take a breath. Exhale, side bend to the left. Here we go, circle forward, reset. Open, breathe in. Circle forward. You could even circle down to the other block if you have it. Good. Two. One more. We hold. Heel toe. Leg center. Tap and lift. And again, if you feel that you need to keep the knee soft, do so. And now hold the toes up as much as you can. Again, adjust so that if you have to climb up higher so that we can keep the spine long. Good. We got two more breaths. One more. Rebend front knee, heel toe it out. Bring the blocks inside, carefully drop down. And again, open left thigh a little bit, keep back thigh heavy. We initiate by squeezing right butt cheek down, heel to butt, and release. Again, pull, 
and release. Two. Try not to pike the hip. Let's do one more. And now pull the heel in. Squeeze the butt down. Nice flat hip crease. Four, three, two, and release. Coming up so that we extend the legs in front of us. Let's start with right leg out on a diagonal. From here, we could place the blocks either side so that we are able to lean forward without rounding. I would even suggest that maybe you place the block slightly behind you so that can better pivot your torso forward. Lots of times I see people trying to stretch with half their torso forward. You ideally want to make sure the whole unit is facing the leg. So even if that means you have to sit up a little taller, that's fine. In the same fashion we did in our butterfly, even if you have to bring the blocks further forward, let's curl an arch. And we could even bring the flexion, so toes up as you curl back, toes forward as you arch forward. Good. For two, one more. Hold it forward here. Even if you need the blocks, try to lengthen both sides of your torso. And now lift the toes while you're forward. It's going to be a little more of an intense calf stretch. But let's try to stay. Two more breaths. One more. Good. Now we switch other side. Left leg out on the diagonal. <sighs> and in the same fashion, however you need to set up your props, even if you don't have them, let's say you don't have blocks, hands can be tented behind you so you can steer the chest to face the leg and they were not leaning over just with one side. Yeah? And in the same fashion, let's curl toes up. Exhale, toes forward. We have two more. One more. Hold it forward. Find length on both sides of your torso while staying forward. See if you can lift the toes. Wide chest here. I know this one's tough. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. And release. Now coming on to our backs. I would recommend if you don't have blocks, you could use pillows for something that's going to give you a little elevation. If with two blocks, let's bend the knees, push down through your feet, bridge the hips up, and now slide the blocks right on your tailbone. You don't want them to be on your little spine. This is an important distinction because we will lose the stretch completely and this will not feel good on your low spine. So make sure whether with one or two blocks, you place them right on the tailbone. From here, extend the left leg down in front of you and grab under right thigh and see if you can keep your left leg straight. If it's bending and floating off the floor, then that's an indication that we might have to work lower and perhaps then drop down to just one block instead of working on two. Let's bend the left leg, breathe. Exhale, push it straight. Again, in and push it straight. One more. Pull the left leg straight. Maybe you wrap hands on the shin and pull the right knee a little tighter. Squeeze that left thigh down. This is an active stretch. See if you can keep your knee straight. Four, three, two, and switch. Woof! I know so much squeezing. Here we go. 
right leg out, left knee in. Let's start under the thigh first, let's ease into it, yeah? Find that nice extension on the right side. Squeeze your hip up, press the thigh down. Here we go, breathe. Exhale, extend. Two. One more. Hold that leg straight, anchor it, and now maybe if it's available to you, hands over the shin, pull the knee tight, squeeze that right thigh down, four, three, two, and release. Do exit, bend both knees, push down, lift the hip, push blocks out from under, and carefully come down. Carefully bend both knees to chest, rock it up, and now let's revisit our lunge so that we can go over better the anatomy of a front split and feeling what the back hip should be doing, how you should feel there in order to keep your hips square. Because we often are encouraged, let's start right foot forward to keep the hips square. And what I find, as we try to slide down, the hips open and then we're not fully utilizing our back hip extension because it is so turned out and the right hip pushes so far forward, then this is not a stable position. We're leading too far side. We try to bring our arms up. We try to bend the back knee. It's not happening. If we were to return to baseline here, and let's enter our over lunge where the heel is more in front of our knee. Bring the blocks by your hips and notice how much weight now has to bear on your back thigh. See if you can squeeze the butt cheek down and maybe as you practice this sequence, you can start by reaching one arm overhead and then the other. If you wish to extend both arms, try to keep your torso up, pull the belly in. We don't want to feel this in the low spine. We want to feel this in the back hip flexor. If you're feeling good and wish to extend the front knee, totally fine if you do. Make sure though, we stay on the back hip so that it doesn't start to open because the lower you go, the more you'll be able to remain upright, stay on the back thigh, keep the torso away from your front leg and have a more stable position. So wherever you are, we have three more breaths. Squeeze the back thigh down. One more. And then carefully push back. And we have the other side, left foot forward. You might find that your tolerance is better on one side than the other, and that's totally okay. You might even discover that it's tougher to stay square, even in this variation. I find that it takes a little bit for my right hip flexor to warm up. So if you have to stay here a little longer, you gotta gently shift side to side. In the same manner, if you practice with lifting one arm and then the other, if you did with both arms, again, keep belly away from the front thigh and really drive your back hip down. If you practice by straightening the front leg, keeping the hips up, if you slid down and you still need to keep the support, hands on the blocks, that's fine too. Whichever it is, here we go. We stay for three. We stay for two. One more, and carefully come out. Just bringing legs in front of us, nice and easy. You can keep the blocks either beside or behind. Flex the ankles, and now carefully pitch the torso forward. If it's really tough for you to do this in pike, you can bend the knees, but see if you could keep your ankles flexed. You could even go one at a time, point flex, point flex. You could do both at a time to maybe ease into the pike stretch. If pike stretch is a breeze, you could actually bring your block on your feet and use this to find more length and stretch. So however you set it up, here we go. 
See if you can keep your ankles flexed. Three. Two. One more. And relax. Relax the toes. Let the legs flop open a tiny bit. You can gently rock side to side. Rolling up, bending the right knee, step the foot over, take left arm over for rotation. Release the counter twist. And we switch other side, left knee bends, wrap it over with the right. Carefully release, counter twist. And that is it. 30 minutes of front splits, a short introduction of what we actually offer on our Stretch It app. And that link will be down below in the description box. We offer a wide range of classes from splits, back bends to full body recovery. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to our channel and hopefully we'll see you again. Take care. Thank you.